Ladies and gentlemen, let's try game into the comic video. We're going to be talking about Nintendo because an awful lot of stuff has emerged over the past, well, day or so, considering Nintendo have, of course, officially released their financial reports, during which the company have revealed things such as the NX's release date. The fact that Zelda is not going to release this year, it's actually going to slip back until next year, but we'll get to that in just a second, and also some of the plans for the company as a whole. So this is going to be kind of an itsy bitsy video because there are so many different pieces of news, so do bear with me. So let's first of all talk about the big thing, the NX and its release date. It supposedly, the system will be released in March 2017, so in other words, bye bye out of the window from all of the other reports that it's going to be this year. Now before we jump into the rest of the video, it is worth noting that this does semi mesh up with the rumours from AMD and the reports from AMD concerning their semi custom chip wins and the fact that the production for those chips is going to start ramping up in Q3 to Q4 of this year, and when you start to Factoring things such as shipping times for the chips to Nintendo and all of their various partners who are producing, let's say, the components for the for the console, whatever they are. For example, you could have one company like Samsung producing the RAM chips. You could have, you know, Bob's Burgers producing the LCD screen. You get the idea. Then you start to add a few more months on top of the ramp up times and that's how come I guess the first quarter of 2017 March to be precise works now with that Zelda is going to be launching with the system which is about as surprising to you as me saying well if you fall off a really high building you're probably going to be less healthy than when you're at the top essentially they have said that they are actually delaying it on the Wii U as well, and they've cited the reasons to be quality driven. However, there is that skeptic in me which is actually thinking to myself, well, not sure I quite believe you there, Ninty. I mean, let's just be totally honest with ourselves. If Zelda, let's just for the sake of arguments, was released in November this year, in time for Christmas, one could make a very compelling argument that the sales for the Wii U system, pretty much most individuals who own a Wii U and game on it regularly, are going to buy Zelda. Which means that unless there's some really big differences between the Wii U version and the NX version, a lot of folks are just probably just going to stick with the NX version, which might be one of the main reasons to upgrade. On the other hand, if you're releasing Zelda along with the NX to a lot of folks, it, they might just say to themselves, well, you know, I'm just going to buy into the new generation a swinging and buy, of course, Zelda with the NX along with the rest of the titles. Speaking of which, other reports have emerged which state that Nintendo are going to release the pricing information, the launch lineup, and the other, I guess you could say, features for the, so uh, for the hardware by the end of this year. That's being reported by the Nikkei, which are obviously a pretty well respected Japanese newspaper. Now, other rumoured titles for the NX do include things such as Splatoon and Smash Bros, but obviously those have not been confirmed by Nintendo, so you can just basically uh, take a truckload of salt with that. Now, the really weird thing, however, comes from Nintendo's Kimi Mishima. Um, he is the Nintendo president, of course, and Nikai asked him what type of machine the NX was. And it's a fairly short quote, which is pertinent, but I'll read it out to you in the entirety. At this current stage, stage excuse me, I'm not able to say. However, it's not merely the successor to the handheld 3DS or stationary console Wii U. This will be hardware that's made in an entirely new way to, of thinking. I'd love to announce more particulars regarding its specs and how it works another time this year. Now, what's rather interesting is another report from Nintendo, this time the Japanese one, um, and they've been saying about this since early 2014, and I quote, where we're going through the start of this next system is going to be important for us to accurately take advantage of what we've done with the Wii U architecture. It of course does not mean that we're not going to be using the same architecture as the Wii U, but we're going to create a system that can absorb the Wii U architecture adequately. When this happens, home consoles and handheld devices will no longer be completely different, and they will become like brothers in a family of systems, end quote. 
quote. If you're like me and you're, well, searching for some deep hidden meaning here, it's basically, <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying here apparently, it's basically the most interesting of comments, but it's also the most elusive of comments. Because it could be that that is confirmation that we're going to be seeing, I guess you could say, the NX to be like an ecosystem type of hardware. Or it could be comments which is basically saying it's going to be a successor to both machines, but it's going to almost mesh up. Or it could mean that there are multiple projects of the NX. In other words, NX is almost like the code name for Nintendo's entire operation. Which basically means new console and new handheld, but they're going to be using very similar architectures, which is possible. Remember, the Jaguar, for example, is a low power processor from AMD, and if they are the ones who are responsible for producing the chips, that would make some sense. It's just a really weird situation to be in, because the Jaguar would certainly, or its successor, uh, the Puma would make sense for a handheld, potentially. Uh, it's low power enough, especially if they start shrinking down to like 14 nm with whatever. But it's like, are they really going to do that for a handheld? Maybe. I mean, ARM based is also another potential possibility. It's just crazy. Now, what we do know is Nintendo's profits have not been so profitable. In fact, their profits have gone down significantly this year. In fact, to say significantly is a bit of an understatement. Thanks to rather lower than expected and rather lower than anticipated sales of the 3DS, along with some of its software, and let's face it, less than stellar sales of the Wii U, Nintendo's profits have managed to drop down 61%. I'm going to say that one more time. 61%. That's an astounding amount. I mean, people at the moment are freaking out about how much Apple, so um, um, I guess you could say, revenue dropped. But that's nothing compared to Nintendo. That's that's a real pain in the butt. That's a lot of money to lose. And honestly. I think this is part of the problem of Nintendo. I mean, people have been blasting them on various forums about the fact that we're not going to see the NX released until 2017. And honestly, I don't think this is down to Nintendo just releasing the console at that date because they're trying to screw their fans over. I'm sure if they could, they'd release it in time for Christmas. But obviously production issues. It does mean, however, Sony, Microsoft are going to have effectively this entire year to themselves. Now, obviously, hype is a wonderful thing. You can hype up your products, and that will make people potentially save up to buy the system. And theoretically, some of Nintendo Studios have gone, well, yeah, pretty dark, relatively dark, but that does lead you to wonder what they're doing behind the scenes. Are they producing content? Are they producing games for the new system? That's certainly a possibility, but ultimately Nintendo cannot act in isolation anymore. They have to court third-party developers, and to do that, they need to demonstrate that their system has the interest of gamers. That's you and I. Don't let anyone fool you. You want to know who's going to be responsible for the success of the NX or the PlayStation 4K or any system? It's not the company that are trying to market it to you. They are responsible for doing a good job, of course, but it's really your hard-earned cash. And Nintendo recently have done some really bad things in the eyes of their fans. Like the whole Mario Maker thing is pissing people off. Their YouTube policy is pissing people off. And you wonder how many sales, potentially, of the NX are being lost because of this. Hopefully Nintendo does change their minds. It does start changing their ways because I really do want a successful a really successful Nintendo because I think it would be good for the industry. March 2017 then for the launch. Nearer the end of this year for us to know and learn what the system is going to be capable of. Unless, of course, there are some leaks, solid leaks of what we can expect. For example, clock speeds, performance, 
maybe some solid information about how the freaking system is going to work. Until then, hopefully you'll stick with us here at RGT. So, anyway, do the likey, subscribe, -y, share everything if you want more information, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.